Hi everyone, I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. These are the newer NL288 Arc 18-inch bicolor LED lights. I got them so to enhance my video recordings for my YouTube channel. I'm gonna show you in my video what comes in the box. I'm gonna also show you how to assemble them very quickly and I'm gonna give you a tip on how to place them so that they don't tip over. I'm gonna also of course show you the back panel and the settings of these lights and I'm gonna give you an overview about the remote control and most importantly I'm gonna show you how I set them up so to get the best video recordings for my YouTube channel. So let's start by showing you what's in the box. I'm gonna open the box now. There's a nice carrying bag and the lights are pretty heavy. These are the poles. And you have here the accessories. And this is a power adapter, cable, remote control. So this is to put the lights. I'm gonna show you how to install them. Another adapter for the second light and another cable. And the two lights are protected in here. These are the lights. They are really, really very nice. They feel very well made. So this is, this should be here like this. This is for the pole. And you should remove this to install the neck. And then you simply slide it like this and push it in. And then reinstall the screw. This is where you can purchase batteries and then you can put them. I'm going to leave a link in the description for the batteries that are recommended. So let me open now the box of the poles. So these are really very sturdy and they are also heavy. You need to loosen it a little bit here. And then you need to put it like this. So keep it wide so that it will be more stable on the ground. So for now I'm going to close it because I'm going to install the light. So you need to remove this from here. And this is here. Put it in like this and then close it and tighten it. So these are the lights installed. The lights also you should tighten them here and then we can adjust them afterwards. And the neck here has adjustments of course. So this is a remote control. It needs two AAA batteries that are not provided. So let me show you now the back panel and the remote control operation. Let me show you the back panel of the light. So here you have the information on the lights. You have the Kelvin here. So this is 4600 now I put it. And this is the percentage of the brightness. I put it at 30%. And to adjust the brightness, you need to turn this knob here. Of course, you can do it also with the remote control. And it is really adjustable on a fine setting, so you can adjust it one by one. And this is for the Kelvins. Also, you can adjust it by increments of 100. So this is the highest, 5600. And this is the warmest, 3200. This button is to set the group and the channel so that the light will respond to the remote control. And this is the on-off button. When you put it on two, it takes the power from the power outlet. And when you put it on one, it will use a battery, but now we don't have a battery. And the good thing about it is that when you turn it off and then when you turn it on back again, it retains the settings that you adjusted on. This is a quick overview about the remote control. First, you need to turn it on by pressing this button. So when the remote turns on, first, let me show you the channels and the groups. So this button here controls the channels and the groups. So if you press it once, you see that it is blinking and you can change here what group you want. And if you press it once again, you can change the channel and the channel and the group should match the channel and the group on the back of the light so that you can control the light. Here it is for the brightness. So this is how you adjust the brightness. And this is for the Kelvin. So press once here and then change the Kelvin and then press set to set the Kelvin like you want it to. And it is important also to turn off the remote control so to save the battery. So when you finish setting up the light and turning it on, just press the on off button 
and you will turn off the remote control like this. Here's a tip now on how to adjust the base of the light so it doesn't fall. And notice how the base, I put it very wide. And notice also that the front leg of the base, the one that is here, it is aligned with the face of the light. So this way, if you tilt the light like this, the weight of the light will not make the base fall. This is the best placement and settings I found for the lights. So notice I have my camera in the middle and this is the desk where I shoot the videos. And on the left, I put the key light at 45 degrees and I angled it down so that it doesn't light the background and I put it at a higher position than the fill light. The key light is set to 75% intensity and 4200 kelvins. The fill light is to my right. I put it at 30% intensity, 4200 kelvins, and it is lower than the key light. If you want to check out this light, I'm going to leave affiliate links in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you, and this will help my channel greatly. I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope that this video was useful to you. In case it was, Please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and this way you'll not miss my future videos. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.